Good morning and welcome to the replay. Just checking to see when this goes live. Hopefully there's not too long of a delay today. Let's see, yeah, look at that. Picked me right up. Good morning. Funny, I can't pin the comment yet on the business page. I don't understand why. Can't pin it. Weird. Very weird. Just gonna give it some time to see if anybody hops on. Make sure I'm live. See how long of a delay there is. Let's see. I'm just cleaning off my stuff from last night because I had it sitting in the water. Good morning, Ann. I had it sitting in the water. And totally did not clean these off. Womp womp. We had a late night last night. So what is going on out there? Just trying to get ready. What is that? It's all loud. It sounds like a bunch of motorcycles. Can you hear that? I don't know what it is. Let's see. Maybe I need to share this post. Share it to... shared. Let's see if we get anybody in here. If not, by the time I'm done cleaning my last squeegee, we're going to go ahead and just get started. Anywho, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if that worked. There it goes. Hi, Tanya. Good morning. Happy birthday to Hunter. He's cleaned off already. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So these are ready to go. Okay. Yay. All my stuff is cleaned off now. Good morning, Avis. Okay. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. Let's stick this stuff over here, actually. Okay. Good morning, good morning. So this morning I'm going to be making a, because we have a birthday coming up and I'm not going to the store to buy a card. So I'm going to go ahead and use our happy birthday cupcake as a design for a greeting card. I figure it will be super easy because we can use the chalk paste on card stock. Super fun. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to to share this. Hold on one second. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Share. Share it to a few places real quick. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's see. Just sharing this to a few places. Uno momento. Uh -oh. Let's see. Oh, there we go. 
Okay. Hopefully that worked. Hi, Laura. Hi, Karen. How are you guys? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and create a greeting card um, on cardstock, which I love that we can use our chalk paste and chalk transfers on there. Good morning, Joyce. So I'm just going to go ahead and create this. It should be able to be a standard A2 size card, which four and a quarter by five and a half. I have to remember how to do that. Isn't that crazy? It's like, uh, I remember, but I don't remember. <laughs> and for those of you that are not um, designers, I would love it if you'd share my video. Um, please don't share if you're a designer. I don't want to see anyone get in trouble because it is a branded um, video. Good morning, Laura. Okay, so we've got our pieces, or our piece, I should say. Uh, let's put this off to the side. I don't need that anymore. And now I'm just going to fold it in half. And what I am using is the best cardstock I found that you could utilize for creating um, on is a the close to my heart uh, black cardstock because there's no fibers in it. Okay, so I'm going to use that. Now let me put this down so that way you guys can actually see the card because. Come on. Of the glass table, you may not be able to see. Such a beautiful morning. Can you guys hear the birds chirping? Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Joyce. Good morning, Laura. Oh, there it goes. There we go. So now hopefully you guys are able to see. And then what's cool, oops, I knocked that sideways. Whoopsie. It's not that big of a delay, which is awesome. And here I'm going to throw up. If you've never seen me do chalk and you have no idea what I'm showing you, I'm going to throw a little something up here to help answer some questions. Okay. Uh-oh. Looks like I froze a little bit. Hopefully I'm still, am I still live? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, hopefully that was enough time for you guys to read this. Let's see. There we go. Now, hopefully, um, I'd love it if you guys would let me know once you're in. Say hello, say good morning. Let me know where you're coming in from. I'd also love it if you would hit the, um, the like button for my fan page so that way you guys will get notified once I go live. Okay. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Alrighty, so we've got this all ready to go. Now, anywhere you see these little white lines, they're cut lines. So all we're going to do is take our scissors, or if you're a paper crafter and you have a paper trimmer, just go ahead and use your paper trimmer and cut them out. Okay? So I'm just going to come through. I'm going to use my cut lines. Hi, Kitty. How are you? Thanks for joining. Oh, it's so easy on cardstock, Karen. It really is. I've done it multiple times. Super easy and fun. <coughs> Please don't mind me. My allergies are kicking my butt. Okay, so first thing we want to do, because as you read, hopefully you were able to read, that um, I, hopefully you came in in time for it. Our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and label the back of our transfer so that way we know the right way to place it back onto the carrier sheet. So I'm just going to say bottom because it's the cupcake bottom. I'm going to say cupcake top. And we're going to say one, two, and three, because these are such tiny pieces. I want to be able to replace them back onto the sheets they came from. And because they all are like the same size, it's best to just put them on the back the right way. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start with the bottom of the cupcake. Hi, Roz. Good morning. 
Now, what you have to do when you're working on cardstock is you have to fuzz these up. You really, really, really got to fuzz them up. Now, what does fuzz them up mean? Fuzz them up means put them either on a, a towel and pull them on and off and on and off. Or if you are a paper crafter, you know the trick of putting a sticker onto your pants and pulling it up to get it to be unsticky. You don't want to do the little move where you add powder to it. Do not do that. Just fuzz it up by putting it on and off something. And the reason we want to do that is we want to take some of the sticky off. Good morning, Roz. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place my little cupcake down, my little base, and I'm just going to push more on the area that has the silk screen, not necessarily all around because I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to come off, okay? So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna use our new buttermilk and our new wild berry for this. So I think I'm gonna do the buttermilk along the bottom to make it look like it's like a vanilla cupcake. Good morning, Rachel. Um, and then I will do the top of the cupcake in the wild berry. And then what I'll probably do is add some of the sprinkle looking things in the white. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my chalk paste and I'm gonna use our awesome, I did put a three on the one. Nope, I did three on three. I may have messed the two and the one up though. Let's see if I did that. Nope, I did it right. There it goes, it's all good. Thank you though, Joyce. Hi, Heather, good morning. Okay, so I'm gonna use our awesome new multi-tool to go ahead and get my chalk paste stirred. You always wanna stir your chalk paste up before you use it to make it be a nice yogurt-like consistency. And as you can see, this looks to be a beautiful consistency. It's nice and it stirs up really well, okay? Oopsie, I just flung that across. Now, you could also use the multi-tool to get into the little spots, which this is gonna be perfect to do those three little pieces because they're so teeny tiny. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean this off really quickly. So that way it's ready to go for when it's time to use those other pieces. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm also gonna use, this is our brand new squeegee. This squeegee is a vertical squeegee. These are our old squeegees. They went horizontal. These ones are gonna be pretty good. Hi, Cease. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it into the chalk paste and I'm gonna pull the color down across my transfer. All I wanna do is cover all of the silk screen area. You don't have to do the entire thing, just the silk screen area. And then you're gonna make sure you have no line. So get all that excess off. And once you have that excess off, you're gonna wipe it right back into your container because we can use that for later, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna peel the transfer off. Now I'm gonna come up to the top. Remember I said I don't always push it all the way down. I, I don't need to. Um, plus that way when I if I don't push it all the way down, like in the corners, it's easier for me to go ahead and pull it off and I won't rip my cardstock. So I'm just gonna take my time and I'm gonna just pull right across and there we go. No ripping of the cardstock. How awesome, right? Can you guys see this? Cardstock isn't ripped, it's perfect. So you just have to make sure you fuzz really good. As long as you're fuzzing really good, good morning, Nikki, good morning, Heather. As long as you're fuzzing really good, you will not, um, you won't make this come off. It'll be perfect. And guys, as you're coming in, make sure you say hello. Tell me where you're coming from. And um, also, if you have not already um, liked my fan page, I would love it if you would. Hi, Michelle. Good morning. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to dry this because I'm going to be layering over it. Now, with the cardstock, sometimes because it is a cardstock, you might get where it um, bumps a little up. Um, what, what do you call that word? I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. It might um, look a little like, kind of like bumpy, but I, I'm drawing a blank on what the, that term is. But that's okay, because you could always just put something heavy over it and it'll come right back to life. Now, you can rub your hands all over it and you'll see that it's nice and dry. It's not coming off on my hands, it's not smearing. That's what we want to go for. Now, let's do our next spot, our next, the top part. Good morning, Rachel. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the sheet off. I've already labeled the back. Good morning, Raquel. How are you? Hello from Arlington, Texas. Rachel Furman, W-A-E-P. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, thank you for joining, Tessa. Warp, warp, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Rachel. 
Tessa, I would love it if you would uh, follow my fan page. If you would just give me a like, that would be great. Good morning, Susan. San Francisco Bay Area. Heather, I want to go there so bad. Good morning, Susan. Hope you're enjoying your vacation. Okay, so I'm just going to fuzz this really good. Okay, just fuzz it up. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz it up. Now, because, oh, awesome, Raquel. I'd love it if you would also like my fan page. That would be great. Now, I've no, I know sometimes with my towel, it doesn't fuzz up as good as I want it to, especially on cardstock. Really, only on cardstock. So I just made sure that I just really fuzzed it up good on my pants. Now, all I want to do is I want to line this up so that way it goes on right. Hold on, let's try that again because it didn't line up very well. All I'm trying to do is just see underneath. There we go. There we go. Now, oh, I moved it a little. Hold on. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, like I said, I'm only really pushing down on the silk screen area to make sure it's all down. Okay. Oh, thank you, Tamara. You are awesome. Oh, Susan, that sounds like fun. Hi, Veronica. Oh, Heather, I definitely want to. It's on our bucket list to get there. Hopefully, we'll get there sooner rather than later. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. Okay, now, because... Wow, hello, Flo. Northern Ireland, that is amazing. Thanks for watching. I'd love it if you'd like my page as well, Flo. Hi, Liz. Good morning. Okay, so because I'm going to use, I only have one multi-tool at the time. I've ordered multiple of these. I'm just waiting for them to come um, since we just had our launch this past week when they came out. So until then, I'm just going to use my old little stirry sticks, and I'm just going to do the same thing to this paste, and it's a beautiful consistency. You can see that, right? So I'm just going to wipe this off. So that way I'm not making a mess. And I'm going to come in, and I'm going to use my squeegee and I'm just going to use one of the old ones you can still get these on the website the ones that are horizontal and I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to lightly pull the color all over my transfer okay just don't want to go off it because I do have something down on the bottom okay get all that excess off make sure I have no lines Okay, let's see where I missed a little bit, right over here. Okay, now we're going to take this one off. Now you're going to just take your time and pull, okay, because we don't want to rip the cardstock. And we don't want to take too, too much time because we don't want the chalk paste to dry either. So just work your pay, walk, work your transfer, go easy. Don't pull like crazy, because we also went along the bottom of the the layer, the cupcake bottom layer, so we don't want to pull any of that off. So just take your time and work your transfer, and see? It'll come right off. How easy, right? Super easy. How do you get the fuzz off the silk screen when you're done with cardstock? That's the cool thing, to, Timer. When we're, we're, I'm going to show you how we're going to clean these. You'll see. It's super easy. Hi, Christine. Good morning, Liz. Hi, Debbie. Okay, so we've got that all done now. Now let's go ahead and close our chalk paste up. I'm going to close this color. We'll be moving on to some of the little elements that I have faced down for some reason. Okay, so we'll put probably some little specks of confetti or little hearts. We can do whichever we prefer. So I'm going to just go in and I'm just going to dry my chalk paste. And I can tell that the wild berry, which is this pretty pink purple color is already starting to dry because you can see the difference in it. How fun is this? Hey Debbie. Okay. And like I said, if it warps, thank you for that word. <laughs> I can't remember who told me who that was. I think it was Rachel. Um, if it warps a little, it's not a big deal. Just put something heavy over the book, like a book over this and it'll go back to being flat. No worries. Okay. So we got that part done. Now I'm wondering, yeah, let's do some white and maybe some garden herb for some of these little accent elements, huh? Should we do, let's do some confetti looking pieces. That would be fun. Okay. 
Now what you guys may not have seen is that I put the transfers into a water bath. And you might be thinking, oh my goodness, why are we doing that? I promise you the water bath is the best way to clean your transfers. You don't want to keep them in a water bath for long. What's the foil? The foil? This? It, what's this, Susan? This is cardstock. Uh, foil. I don't have any foil, but I do have cardstock I'm working on. I don't see foil. Okay, so we got this nice and fuzzed up. All right, now we're going to just, I'm just going to add little, little specks of confetti here and there. Little itty bitty pieces. Now, remember I said our new multi-tool is perfect. Whoops, I did not clean this well. Please hold. We almost put buttermilk into our white chalk piece. That wouldn't have been fun. Okay, so. Oops, I didn't want to dry it on that either. Let's use another piece of paper towel to dry this off. Now, I'm going to just stir this real quick with um, my little stirry tool so that way I don't get go crazy. Oh, and the screen looks like a 3D. Oh, it does? That's awesome. That's really cool, Susan. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to use this little multi-tool. Look how little this little squeegee portion is. And I'm just going to lightly dip it into my white chalk paste. That is even too much. And I'm going to just pull it right across these little dots, right? And I'm going to make sure I get a nice, clean transfer with them because as long as it's nice and clean and I picked up all my color, I can pick up and continue to move with this without risk of my silk screen getting clogged. So I'm just going to take my time, pull it up, go over here, add a little more, way too much once again. Really only need a little bit of jog piece for this part. Little itty bit. Okay, let me just put my, my multi-tool down, take my time, pull it off. Okay, maybe a little more at the very top here. See how that looks. A little bit of chalk piece goes a very long way. Yeah, I like that. Now let's maybe add a star or two. It does look 3D now that you're saying that. I see it. Good morning, Debbie. I thought she cut a foil cupcake holder and glued on. It looks also on screen. Aw, thanks, Susan. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Debbie. Okay, let's do some little stars up here as well, right? Now, hold on. I'll just make sure these pieces are dry. These little white dots, because if they're not drying, you put the silk screen over, it's gonna smear it. And we don't want to smear it. What is cardstock? Cardstock is, is like a card base. So this is like heavy duty card or heavy duty paper, Debbie. It's a hundred and twenty pound cardstock, which is like the weight of the paper. Um which is what like um, card makers and scrapbookers typically use. So it's just another form, it's just a form of paper crafting and what people use with it. And look, I'm not even gonna get the white card, the white chalk paste off my little squeegee here. I'm just gonna keep picking up and moving. Pick up, move, pick up, move, pick up, move because like I said, I'm making sure I get all of the, that excess chalk paste off the screen. I'm able to keep moving along with this. You just gotta make sure your screen is completely clear. As long as it's clear and free of chalk paste, you can keep moving it around. If it's not, it's gonna clog. So when you go and pull it up, you're not gonna have a nice clear transfer of the paste with the items. There it goes. How cute and fun, right? Oops. Just make sure you don't have any chalk paste on your fingers before you go and pull it off. Look at that. How adorable is that? Okay, so you can buy it. Well, Debbie, I'll be honest with you. So I've experimented with a few different kinds of cardstock, and 
honestly the best kind I found was close to my heart cardstock. They're black because it's got a very low fiber um, count. Some cardstock like Joann's and Ian Michaels and AC Moore, it's got uh, fiber pieces to the cardstock, so it's like textured and it pulls off when you pull the cardstock off. Okay, so you don't, uh, you obviously don't want to use that. And yeah, definitely not construction paper. There's way too many fibers in that. Just make sure this is nice and dry. And then guess what? Our little card is done. Now the fun part about it is, is that you can, um, we do have another transfer that unfortunately I do not have it yet, but it says celebrate, it says party, and something else. Now, if I had that transfer, I would put it right on the inside as like a sentiment, and then I would sign my name with a, a white cho a white marker. Every, you, you can get them anywhere, like a white ink pen, and then your card's all done, and how fun is that? You can give this to somebody, right? I love it. Super easy, super quick, super fun. Now, let's see how to clean these things, right? So, I'm going to move my card to the to the side and I'm going to move my little uh um what what are these called? Backers. Our transfer backers. I'm going to move these to the side because you don't want to throw them away. You're going to use them. You're going to replace your transfer back on them. Oops, we want to get rid of this one too. Out of the way. Yes, close to my heart. Close to my heart cardstock. And I do have, if anybody, um, I will, if you're interested in it, comment below. I do know somebody that sells it. I'm happy to message you the link. Okay, so now let's go ahead and clean these. Now, I usually use, which, where is it? I usually use a towel for these, but unfortunately I'm outside and I don't want to wake the boys up by going to dig for a towel. So use a towel. Do not follow my lead and use a paper towel. What I'll probably do is actually just clean it right on my mat. We'll just pretend there's, um, whatchamacallit there. Now, I literally just had these sitting in a little water bath. And, like, you know the pans that you use at, like, Thanksgiving time? You put your turkey in so that way people can come and get it and it's not in the big hot pan. It's like one of them silver disposable pans that I have this sitting in. Okay. And now I'm going to just use a disinfectant wipe. You do not want to use a baby wipe. Disinfectant wipe, um, you can use Dollar Tree, you can use Clorox, you can use Target, you can use Lysol, it doesn't matter. You just want to use a disinfectant wipe. And what you're going to do is you're going to use it on the front first, start off there, get all that excess chalk paste off the front. Then you're going to flip it over, and on the back you're going to lightly clean the back of your transfer off. You're not going to rub real hard because you will remove the excess paste, I mean the excess adhesive okay and you're gonna let it dry and then as it dries the sticky is gonna come back to life okay and then you're gonna put it back onto your carrier sheet and then it'll be ready for your next use okay super easy now if you don't get all those fibers off it's okay it's fine because it's still gonna work trust me I've done it a bazillion times okay Debbie I will message that to you and Joyce. I know, Debbie. I know, I know. All right, Carrie, no problem. Hi, Bridget. Good morning. Yes, I'll send you guys the link um, to the person that I bought mine from. Because I used to have a bunch of it, but I made lots of stuff with it. So I had to go to her and get it from her. So these are all cleaned. Just gonna pop them off to the side. And that's how easy it is to clean the transfers. One, two, three, easy peasy. Now, I also clean my squeegees. Let's get them cleaned. Let's get them nice and cleaned off. And I honestly, I usually will just toss them in the water as well. Um, I'll just toss them in, call it a day. And then I clean them with the, the squeegees, but I didn't put these in the water today. I don't know why I just put them off to the side, but using a disinfectant wipe, you can clean your squeegees as well. And you just let them dry before you put them back in whatever you use to store them. I just stick mine in a little, um, little holder. I keep all my squeegees together. My transfers have begun to get gooey after that cleaning process. After that's right, and that's right after one use. Gooey? Hmm. 
Hmm, that's weird, Rachel. I have never had my transfers get gooey. I Do you wait for them to dry totally before you put them back onto your backer? I have been cleaning my transfers this way since I started a year ago and I've never had that issue. I let them dry totally before putting back on the on a uh, on my carrier sheet. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Erin. Should the water be a certain temperature? I use lukewarm temp water. I don't use hot and I don't use cold. I just use what's comfortable for my hands to go in. I also don't keep them in the water very long. I do the second I am done my my project. I take them right out of the water. Um, don't leave them in overnight. Don't leave them sitting for days. I wouldn't even go more than an hour to be honest with you. I try to do it within 10, 15 minutes of, of the fact that I'm done. You know, I don't I don't keep them in. If I know it's gonna be a bigger project, I get my husband to help me and he will come and clean them for me. Good morning, Nancy. And that's pretty much what I do. Okay. And that's that. They are all cleaned. Let me just wow. Someone's coughing up a lung. Okay, let's get this all dried so that way I can pull my card over for you guys to see. My sweet little card made. And guess what? Remember I said it was like warped? It really isn't anymore. It looks kind of good here. Hey, Erin! Yay! So here's happy birthday. So like I said, once I get the, um, <clears throat> the celebrate party transfer... It's a celebrate party and something else. I'm drawing a blank. I would put that right on the inside as well. And then sign my name in a white gel pen and call it a day. But that's how easy it is to use it on cardstock. We can use, guys, we can use chalk paste and our transfers on so many different canvases. And that's what I love. Like, I'm not limited to how I want to create. And I, I love that about Chalk Tour. It's absolutely awesome. Now, after you have watched this and you said... I just love what that girl did and I am brand new to watching her and I don't already have a designer. Um, I would love it if you have, if you don't have a designer and you might be interested in purchasing some of these things, I would love it if you would um, allow me the opportunity to be your designer. Um, if you comment me down below, I will message you the link to my VIP group um, where I offer specials. I actually just launched a loyalty card system. I have a lot of things going on in there and there's always fresh content. So all you have to do is comment me down below and I will message you the link to my VIP group. Now, after watching this, she said, gosh, that looks so cool. And I could see myself doing this. And I could see myself having my girlfriends, um, <coughs> excuse me, get together and doing a sip and chalk or having to bring your own board night. Um, I could see myself doing this. So if you might be interested in joining my team, I would love it if you would comment join down below. And I will message you the link to my opportunity group where I have about a half hour long video that goes over every single thing you need to know about joining Chalk Couture. So it's super easy. Um, those are the two options you can do. I would love it if you would do either one of them. That would be great. But please, my VIP group, it is not for designers, people that are already designers. This is only for customers. I do hope you understand. Not trying to be mean, but um, trying to keep it for more of a customer driven uh, area. So that is it for my project today. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. Super easy. With, minus my talking, I would have had this done in maybe 10 minutes. Um, and it's a nice handmade item to give to somebody. And they can even, once they get this, they can put it inside a little maybe five by seven photo frame and they can give it to somebody else or they can put it up whenever a birthday comes around. It's just super easy. Um, and it was quick. So uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. Tomorrow morning I'll be back with another coffee and choking. So I hope you join me then. Have a great day, guys. Bye.